Because of the budget impasse, lawmakers failed to reauthorize the Violence Against Women Act. It's a law that allots federal funding to organizations that serve those subjected to violence. KSPY News reporter Dustin Kleeman joins us live on how it's putting pressure on two Slow County organizations. Dustin, how important is this funding to those organizations? Absolutely crucial, Richard. Now, the federal money is a significant portion of the funds that they receive, both at uh, slow rise as well as stand strong. Now, the longer this shutdown continues on and that that act is not reauthorized, the likelihood of, of services being impacted at both locations. On Friday, an ominous warning from the president doubling down that a wall must be funded for the government to reopen. But I will do whatever we have to do. If we have to stay out for a very long period of time, we're going to do that. The act hands out millions of dollars in grants each year. The Office on Violence Against Women awarded more than $460 million in grants in the 2018 fiscal year. The fact that it has not been reauthorized and we are at risk of losing that funding is is so scary to the work that we do and to the victims that we serve. For local groups like RISE, 40% of its funding comes from state and federal money. It's a large percentage, yeah. At Stand Strong, 80% of its budget is federally funded. We do have concerns about what, what will the impact of this be. Both groups served around 2,000 people last year, and that's just a portion of those who experience domestic violence. Thanks to the Me Too movement, more have come forward. But that increase in victims using services hasn't been met with an increase in funding. We had a 250 percent increase in our phone calls in the year after the Me Too movement happened. We have a six month waiting list for our counseling services and our shelters. We have two shelters are full at capacity all the time. Almost half our clients here are children and there is a really big impact on kids and their kids who are witnessing domestic violence at home, kids who are experiencing child abuse, and these funds help them too. Okay. This has really big impacts for the whole family. For now, both organizations plan to forge on. They will be providing as much service as possible during this time. You can find out the resources that are available for both on KSBY.com. Live and local in San Luis Obispo, I'm Dustin Kleeman, KSBY News. All right, Dustin, thank you. Changes this year include increasing funding for the rape prevention and education program and expanding the response to missing and murdered Native American women.